Right, here's what we're doing today. It's actually quite simple. We've received a... Someone suggested we do something really stupid. But on second thought, it seems quite interesting. Anyway, we'd like to conduct an experiment and drive a car with... Let me put it this way. Drive a car with poorly balanced wheels. But you know how we roll. We're never about the simple solutions. And so, in order to get the tire balance way out of whack... Well, you can see where this is going, right? There you go. So sourcing 100, 200 or 300 gram balancing weights just isn't our style. So I found us a... One hell of a weight right here. Two poods, which is 32 kilos for those of you who don't know. This will give us a nice imbalance. Right, so now I throw these wheels onto this here lovely automobile. Hopefully the axle shafts don't fall off so that the car can drive home under its own power. If they do, we'll call in a flatbed. No sweat. What happens when you tie a 32 kilo kettlebell to your wheel? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, so here we are, ready to go. This actually looks pretty hilarious. I almost forgot to tell you. We got a bunch of requests to check out whether a kettlebell will work as sort of a security system when tied to your wheel. What if you were to actually tether your car down with something like this? Well, as you can imagine, driving around simply won't be possible. Then again, that's what we're here to find out, right? Alright, let's start the motor. Awesome. Now I guess we... Right, now it's time to drive. That'll do. I reckon it's time... It's probably time for some sideways action. God damn, that's a lot of dust. Right, guys, we're looking pretty good here. The rear fenders have been rolled in on both sides, the wheels are all bent, while the cattle bells are completely unscathed. It's pretty much impossible to sit inside the cabin, since you're jumping around with the car. I keep hearing that it's quite amusing to look at, and we do have a guy who we can put behind the wheel. That's enough, I've had it. I can't take it anymore, man. This thing beats the living crap out of you, man. It's a nightmare. Right, there's still some life left. Someone bent the license plate. Now what do we do? Let's try reverse. Reverse, you say? So. 
We've lost one of them. Right, guys, here we see the aftermath of our experiment. We're experiencing a slight problem, in that one of our chains let go. And uh, one of our kettlebells just flew off. The one on the right is gone, only the left one is still attached. Right, nothing much has changed over here, it even started rolling in the doors. But that's not the point, what matters is we have to finish the job. Alright, so here's the situation. It's all looking pretty good. The wheel is completely destroyed. The chain and the kettlebell held up fine though. So the rear arch imploded. This was a bit more fun with the two kettlebells. But even one was more than enough to do some damage. It ripped out all the suspension links. We don't know what's wrong with the div. But you can see it's got a massive oil leak. It's probably a hole in the casing, I don't know. Lovely, right? Right, guys, I see this experiment has been a success. First of all, always balance your tires. Second of all, this will make a fantastic anti-theft system. If you drive off with a kettlebell tied to your wheel, your car won't stay intact for long. It might even crap out at some point. Anyway, fellas, our experiment has been a huge success. Don't forget to watch our videos, subscribe, leave some comments and suggestions. Don't forget about our VK public and our Instagram. Right, my work here is done. See you later.